Today, uh, the question is uh, for 2015, May, June, paper is 1 1, and uh, the question number is 18. So it says uh, the diagram shows a pump called a hydraulic ram. Uh, it has a larger reservoir lake here. So water from here goes like this. So in one such pump, the long approach pipe, which is the long approach pipe here, holds a 500 kg of water. A valve shuts when the speed of this water reaches 200 meter per second. So water is at rest here and here it gets a velocity of 2 meter per second. So I can uh, write here. So I can write here, write here, write here. Uh, velocity of water here is equal to uh, 2.0 meter per second and uh, the kinetic energy of this thing water uh, here is used to lift a small quantity of water by a height of 15 meter so this pump uses the k of water to lift it to a height of height of 15 meters so uh, the <coughs> height of water here the height of water here a yes is equal to 15 meters the efficiency of the pump is eta is equal to 10 percentage which is equal to 0 0.1 and we have to find with this energy with this energy what is the amount of water that can be lifted by this 15 meter distance so you have to find the amount of water so let's say the amount of water that can be lifted is m2 and the amount of water entering here is m1 so what it says is the since water rises through a height of uh, something this water ga gains potential energy so the change of potential energy of this water so since this water has got mass m2 i write m2 gh here that is uh, because of the k of this water that is because of the k of this water so let us say it is 1 by 2 the mass of this water is m1 and the velocity it gains is v square this change in pe is because of k of this water and the efficiency of the pump is 10 percent so that means this change of energy is just 10 percentage of this k so because of the pump this change of p is just 10% of this ke so that will be equal to 0 0.1 into 1 by 2 m1 v square so let us see uh, now i'll have m2 m2 g into delta h equal to 0 0.1 into 1 by 2 m1 v square so which gives us m2 is equal to 0 0.1 into this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 into m1 is 500 into its velocity is 2 square all divided we have uh, uh, g is uh, 9.81 into the change of height is uh, 15 meters so if i do the uh, calculations it comes out to be the calculations uh, it comes out uh, to be so let's do the calculations so it is 0 0.1 into 0 0.5 into 500 into 2 square is 4 equal to divide it we have 9.81 into 1 5 by close so this thing becomes equal to equal to equal to 0 0.679 and uh, the answer which is nearest to this value is 0 0.68 kgs so this is choice number b should be the correct answer